New school year is in full swing, and that means you're probably noticing lots of school buses back on the road. Yeah, local transportation officials say they've seen a spike in the number of people passing buses when they're dropping kids off. News 8's Jordan Fremstead is here to tell us why you need to pay attention when you see those flashing red lights. Martha and Mike, it is rare for a child to be killed when they get off a school bus. The state of Wisconsin averages one death per year. However, one is simply too many, and local school district officials say they're seeing a lot of people disregard an important law that can have serious consequences. Summer vacation is over, and students are back in the classroom. We have a lot of excited kids coming to school. And the big rigs that get them there are out on the road. The buses are big and yellow for a reason. Officials with the Holman School District say people are ignoring one important law. It's kind of scary. When a bus stops to drop off a child, the district has seen reports of cars blowing past the bus, doubling the number from last year. We're averaging two a day, which is really sad. We had four days of school, and we had seven reported instances of cars just driving right past the school bus with the fr flashing red lights. It is illegal to pass a school bus when it stops to let out a student, no matter which side of the road you are on. Every bus has devices in place to make it obvious for drivers. We have the mirrors, we have the stop gate that comes out telling students how far away they can cross in front of the bus. We have the, the red lights and stop sign. It's not complicated. The writing on the bus means exactly what it says. And we have no tolerance for it. If we see it, we're going to stop it and we're going to, we're going to issue citations. Town of Campbell Police Chief Drew Gavrillo says a citation is the least of your worries. On top of the fact that you have the tragedy of, of a child that, that is injured or killed, uh, you've got a driver that's going to live with that for the rest of their lives. In his 24 years in law enforcement, he has seen families' lives change forever. It's people just not paying attention. Parents will understand. I've got two. <laughs> I've got two boys. And uh, I can't even imagine. He says, don't risk ending a life too soon over an extra 10 seconds. The fact that you're late to work shouldn't be everybody else's problem, and it certainly shouldn't be putting children at risk. Now, district officials in Holman say the district may soon need to attach cameras to their buses to help catch drivers who don't follow this law. All right, thanks so much, Jordan. Law enforcement officials say you should stay at least three car lengths behind a bus when you're following them on the road.